Hello everyone, you're welcome to Lizama's Teaches. My name is Amaka. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make a transparent corset with yoke. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I, I upload new videos. Registration for our corset class is ongoing. If you're interested, you can contact us with the number on the screen. So let's get started. So these are the fabrics I'll be using for this tutorial. Now this is my this is my skin tone net. This is my corset mesh and this is my satin. Now I'm going to start by taking my vertical measurements. Now the bust point I'm working with is 11 inches. Shoulder to waist to under bust point is 14 inches. Shoulder to waist point is 16 inches. Shoulder the full length of the corset is 24 inches. Then I'm going to use half inch for my hemming allowance. So I'm going to extend the points. And I'll connect the points. So the next thing I'll do is to take the neck measurement. Now the neck width I'm working with is 3 inches and the neck depth is 3 inches. And I'll connect the points. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 14 inches. 14 divided by 2 gives you 7 inches plus half inch seam allowance gives you 7.5 inches. Now from this point, I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slant and I'll connect it to the neckline. Now to impute my armhole depth, I'm going to be working with my armhole measurement. Now half of my armhole measurement is eight inches. Another way to do this is by dividing your armhole measurement by six plus 1.5 inches. That's another way to do it, but I'm working with half of my armhole measurement, which is 8 inches. Now this measurement I have here, this 7.5 inches, which is my shoulder measurement, I'm bringing it down here. And I'll connect this point to this point. Just like this. And I'll extend this point to this point and this point to this point. Now this is this is going to serve as my chest point. Now let me label these lines. This is my chest point, my bust point, my under bust point, my waist point, the full length of the corset. So the next thing I'm going to do is to find the midpoint of this line. Now this is the midpoint of this line. Now from this midpoint, I'm going to go in by three quarter and I'll mark three quarter. Now on my chest point, I'm going to mark a quarter of my bust circumference. My bust circumference divided by four gives you 9.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 9.5 inches here. So I'll connect this point to this point and this point to this point, just like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is to impute my dart. And to do that, I'm going to be working with my nipple to nipple measurement. Now half of my nipple to nipple measurement is four inches. So I'm going to mark four inches here. And I'll mark four inches here on my bust point. I'm marking four inches. And I'll connect the points. Now I'm going to find the midpoint of the shoulder line. Now this is the midpoint of this line. 
and I'll connect this point to this point just like this So the next thing I'm going to do is to create a new neckline. I'm creating a new neckline for my yoke. And I'm working with 8 inches. Now my neckline is 8 inches. And I'll connect the points. So I'm going to impute my darts. Now I'm going to on this point, I'm going to mark one inch on both sides of this line. So I'll mark one inch here. I'll mark one inch here and I'll mark one inch here. And on this line, on my underboss point, I'm going to mark one inch here and I'll mark one inch here. On the hem of the now on this point, I'm going to go up by two inches and I'll mark. Now I'm going to connect the points. So now I'm going to connect this point to this point and this point to this point. And I'll connect this point to this point. So now on this line, I'm going to mark one inch on both sides of this line. Now the same measurement I have here, I'm bringing it here. One inch here and I'll mark one inch here. And I'll connect this point to this point and this point to this point. Just like this. Now, from this point, which is my boss point, I'm going to mark half inch on this point. And on my waist point, I'm going to mark half inch. Now, I, this, I, I want to mark... Now, this is for my sweetheart neckline. I want my sweetheart neckline to start from my bust point. Now, but I later changed my mind. On the second thought, I just felt it might be too revealing. So, instead of using my bust point, I'm going to be working with my chest point. So, from my chest point, I'm going to come down by one inch... So I'm going to connect it back to the bust point. Now this is this is optional. You can decide to use your bust point. You can also decide to work with your chest point or you come down by one inch from your chest point. It all depends on how revealing you want your corset to be. So I'm, I, I came down by one inch from my chest point and I'm connecting it back. Now to create my cup, I'm going to connect this point to this point when drafting your cup you have to place your curved ruler in such a way that it will have enough space to accommodate your bust don't do this if you do this your cup will look like a v it will look like a v and it won't be nice do this let your cup be round let your let your cup have enough space to accommodate your bust let it be round so do this, do it this way. Now I'll connect this point to this point. So now I've created the first cup. Now the next thing I'm going to do on this point, I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. Now this is the midpoint of this line. And I'll connect this point to this point just like this now make sure you create enough room to accommodate your bust place your curved ruler like let it be round let your bust let your cup be round it shouldn't be like a v don't do this if you do this your cup is going to be like a v and it won't be nice so place your cup this way let your cup have enough room to accommodate your bust so do this do it this way. I'm going to connect this point to this point. So now my cup is complete. I'm going to take my horizontal measurement. 
Now I'm going to take my bust measurement here on my chest point. Now my bust circumference divided by 4 gives you 9.5 inches. Plus this dart intake which I'm going to cut off from here. I'm going to return it here. Plus 1.5 inches seam allowance. Now on the under bust point, I'm going to take my under bust measurement on the under bust point. My under bust circumference is 30 inches. 30 divided by 4 gives you 7.5 inches. Plus these 2 inches that which I'm going to cut off, I'm returning it here. Plus 1.5 inches seam allowance. Now on my waist point, I'm going, to, I'm going to take my waist measurement on my waist point. Now my actual waist measurement is 32 inches. But I'm going to remove 2 inches from my waist measurement because I want to snatch my waist. So what I'm working with is 30 inches. Now 30 divided by 4 gives you 7.5 inches. Now this is optional. You can decide to remove 2 inches from your waist. You can decide to remove 3 inches, 4 inches. It all depends on what you want. But when you're doing it for a client, make sure you ask the person what the person wants so that you know what to do. So my actual waist measurement is 32 inches. I'm going to minus 2 inches from that 32 inches and that gives you 30 inches. So what I'm working with is 30 inches. 30 divided by 4 gives you 7.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 7.5 inches here. Plus these 2 inches that, that I'm going to cut off, I'm returning it. Plus 1.5 inches seam allowance. Now on the hem of the corset, I'm going to be working with my hip measurement. Now my hip circumference is 42 inches. 42 divided by 4 gives you 10.5 inches. On the hemming allowance, I'm going to take the same measurement, 10.5 inches. Plus 1.5 inches seam allowance. And I'll connect the points. And I'm going to add the shoulder seam allowance. The shoulder seam allowance I'm working with is half inch. And I'll connect the points. So now from here, I'm going to go up by 2 inches. Because I want to curve my top. So I'm going up by 2 inches. So I'll mark 2 inches here. And I'll mark 2 inches here. And I'll connect the points. So that's just it with the front panel. So I'm going to cut it. So I'm done cutting, now I'm going to label it. Now this is going to be 1 and this will be 2. And I'm going to label this U, which means up, and U, that is the upper part, and lower part, lower part. This is the center front, and this is the side front. This will be cut on fold. So I'm going to cut one of these and I'll cut two of these. I'll cut two of these and two of these. 
for the yoke i'm going to cut only one for the yoke and i'm not going to add seam allowance on the yoke to avoid gaping but i'm going to add seam allowance on the cups all around the cups i'm also going to add seam allowance here and here i'll add seam allowance here i'm not going to add side seam allowance because i've added already that is it with the front panel now let's move over to the back panel i've drawn some lines already this is my starting point which is also going to serve as my shoulder line this is my waist point the full length of the corset and this is the hemming allowance now from my shoulder to my waist point is 16 inches shoulder to the full length of the corset is 24 inches plus half inch hemming allowance i'm going to take my neck measurement now take note there is no zipper allowance on my pattern paper because i'm going to be using eyelets so i'm not working with zipper i'm going to take my neck measurement my neck my back neck width is three inches and the back neck depth is one inch and i'll connect the points now i'll take the shoulder measurement half of my shoulder measurement is seven inches plus half inch seam allowance gives you 7.5 inches now from this point i'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slant and i'll connect it to the neckline now i'm going to impute my armhole depth for me to do that i'm working with half of my armhole measurement which is eight inches and I'll connect the points. I'll extend this point to this point and this point to this point. So I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. Now this is the midpoint of this line. On my chest point, I'm going to take my bust measurement on my chest point. My bust circumference divided by 4 gives you 9.5 inches. And I'll connect this point to this point. Now I'm going to impute my dart. For me to do that, I'm going to be working with my nipple to nipple measurement. Half of my nipple to nipple measurement is 4 inches. So I'm going to mark 4 inches here. And I'll mark 4 inches here. And I'll connect the points. On my waist point, I'm going to mark half inch on both sides of this line. So I'll mark half inch here. And I'll mark half inch here. Now on the on the hem, I'm going to come up by two inches. On my chest point, I'm going to come down by one inch. And I'll connect the points. I'm going to take my horizontal measurement. My bust circumference divided by 4 gives you 9.5 inches plus 1.5 inches seam allowance. My waist circumference divided by 4 gives you 7.5 inches. Plus this dart which I'm going to cut off from here. I'm returning it here. This 1 inch dart, I'm returning it here. Plus 1.5 inches seam allowance. Now on the hem, I'm going to take my hip measurement on the hem. My hip circumference divided by 4 gives you 10.5 inches. Plus, I'm going to mark the same thing on the hemming allowance. Plus 1.5 inches seam allowance. And I'll connect the points.
Now from here, I'll go in by 1.5 inches. And from here, I'll go in by 2.5 inches. Now this is for my back opening. And I'll connect the points. Now from here, I'm going to come down by one inch. And I'll connect this point to this point with my free hand, just like this. Now I'm going to add my shoulder seam allowance. I'm using half inch for my shoulder seam allowance. On this point, I'll go up by two inches. And I'll connect it to this point. I'll mark two inches here as well. And I'll connect it to this point. The same curve that I have on the front panel, I'm repeating it here so that the front and the back panel will be the same by the side. Now on this point, I'm going to come down by one inch and I'll connect it to this point. I'm going to cut it. I'm cutting off this part. This part is no longer useful to me. I'm going to label it. This is the yoke. I'm going to label this one and this two. This is the upper part, upper part, and this is the lower part so that I don't, I don't mix it up. This is the center back and this is the side back. I'm going to cut two of these, two of these and two of these. This is the front panel and this is the back panel. Now I have two of these and it was cut on fold and I've also added my seam allowance on it. For the yoke, I didn't add seam allowance on the yoke to avoid gaping. And the front yoke as well, I didn't add seam allowance on the front yoke to avoid gaping. Now, this is the center front. I've, I, I added seam allowance by the side and it was cut on fold. For the cups, I've added seam allowance all around it. Each one of the cups has two pieces. For the side front, I've also added my seam allowance and I have two pieces there. I'm going to stop here for now because I don't want this video to be too long. Our next video is going to be the sewing part of this tutorial. Remember that registration for our corset class is ongoing. If you're interested, you can contact us with the number on the screen. If you found this tutorial helpful, please click on the like button. Share this video with your friends. Share this video in your sewing groups. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. Feel free to ask questions. I'll be in the comment section to answer all your questions. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.